Hey, I'm meteorologist Doug Myers with the latest forecast heading into this Thursday. Yesterday we had highs in the 60s and 70s. We were able to sneak in uh, some sun by the afternoon as uh, we didn't really get a whole lot of rainfall during the day as expected, but still dealing with some rain from overnight and continuing into early this morning. So we'll continue to add on to this. This is as of uh, 3.50 Thursday morning. So uh, this is going to have more rain on it as uh, rain is continuing at this time and rain continue to push through northeast kansas so today generally upper 60s and low 70s now it's going to depend on when these temperatures happen and that will depend on when it dries out across uh, one specific spot otherwise there's a possibility temperatures may be more in the uh, upper 50s low 60s with uh, rain falling and then warming back up quickly once the rain mush pushes out of the area so just be aware of that it is uh, going to be uh, fairly muggy for the majority of the day but as the cold front pushes through that will start to uh, decrease our dew point temperatures and our humidity values and that will lead to a uh, cool night a little bit refreshing as well otherwise uh, for uh, today this is computer model number one, showing showers and thunderstorms at times, mainly for the southeastern two-third of our viewing area, and uh, most of this activity uh, starting to wind down. Still may have a few leftover rain showers, maybe even an isolated thunderstorm still by 8 o'clock, but... Uh, I really think most areas will be dry by sunset. We'll watch it. It's going to be kind of a watch the radar kind of a day today. Uh, not necessarily because of severe weather possibilities. I think it mostly remains below severe weather limits. We'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, but just with rain and possible lightning in the area at times. So just be aware of that. Here's computer model number two. Again, showing rain throughout the day and then uh, diminishing. This is completely dry by 6 o'clock. And then with clearing skies tonight, giving us mostly clear skies tonight and into tomorrow with mostly sunny skies. There is a very low chance that uh, we could get some storms late in the afternoon, early evening, mainly in north central Kansas. Our other short-term computer model is indicating that. I still think the best chance of storms will be after midnight though. So for the most part, most areas will still be dry and very comfortable for tomorrow afternoon and evening with no uh, chance of any storms. Now, these storms do start to move in around 10, 30, 11 o'clock in north central Kansas and then push through during the day or during the overnight period I should say and then during the day you can see that by eight o'clock a lot of the heavy rain is out of the area just some lingering showers and then actually maybe sneaking in some sun now I'm not going to quite go mostly sunny just yet on Saturday uh, but uh, definitely something that we're continuing to uh, keep an eye on otherwise the severe weather outlook for today and tomorrow are in the marginal risk at best with a hill and wind risk and then Saturday mainly in the morning, just some non-severe thunderstorms. That's what that lighter green means. It means just a risk of thunderstorms in general. And I could probably uh, change that graphic just to make it a little bit easier to understand. But generally speaking, we are looking at uh, the risk for severe weather relatively low. Now, just a reminder that uh, Concordia if you're in the Concordia area, Chief Meteorologist Jeremy Goodwin will be out there from 11 to 1 today programming radios at the Cloud County Community College there at uh, Campus Drive. So head on out there to get your weather radio programmed if you need to. And then Tuesday in Valley Falls at the Apple Market. So those are the uh, only two as of right now. There may be more that get scheduled, but those are the uh, two as of now uh, that uh, we know of that uh, we will be out at. So, have your weather radios ready to go in those locations. Because, well, you may need it on Monday. Because we are looking at our highest probability of severe weather for the next eight days being on Monday. Yes, can we get a brief severe thunderstorm morning both um, early this morning, or throughout the day today, and uh, late Friday night and early Saturday morning? Yes. But I think the better opportunity of severe weather is Monday, into Monday evening. And then uh, drying out for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Taking a quick look at our extended outlooks, probability of what are the normal conditions do look to continue through the 8 to 14 day outlook. And uh, it does start to get us more normal, if you will, for temperature wise, or equal chances of low normal temperatures and above normal temperatures in the 8 to 14 rather than above normal temperatures in the 6 to 10 day outlook. So highs are generally going to be in the 60s and 70s for the next eight days. Lows, a little bit all over the place, 40s. 50s, maybe some low 60s on a few nights, so uh, just keep that in mind. Otherwise, have a great day. Stay weather aware today. Uh, for right now, I would say that any outdoor plans that you have for today, just uh, maybe consider plan B. 
I, I'm hesitant on saying you need to downright cancel him just because of some uncertainty on how things are going to play out today and how models really didn't do a very good job yesterday and pretty much we were dry for the majority of the day and I wasn't thinking that was going to be the case. So uh, it ended up being the case. And so we'll obviously continue to keep an eye on the radar and uh, just uh, adjust plans accordingly for today and then early Saturday morning. Otherwise, that's about it. I think you can enjoy Friday without any problems. I think you can mostly enjoy Sunday without any problems. I did take the rain chance out. Most of it does stay in southern Kansas with the rain chance Sunday, but we'll watch it. And then Monday into Monday night, we'll be watching for the next storm chance. And then we get a chance to dry out for several days in a row. So looking at Tuesday through Thursday, ending up with dry conditions. Have a great day.